Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, working from home today, as you can see. And I am just waiting to clock in. It's about six o'clock, I clock in. Um, I started at 6.15 today, but I can clock in at 6.10. So I just made my coffee in my Delaware mug that I got when I met Edna. And I'm the only one here right now. Me and Boston. Nope, not me and Boston. I still forget he's gone. Anyway, um, the girls actually left this morning to go to what's it's called youth convention. And it's not only for youth. I could have gone, but I used to go when I was younger. My mom used to take my brothers when I got a little bit older, when I stopped going to church. But um, it's... When I was younger, it used to be in Bakersfield at the Bakersfield Convention Center. Now it's in Visalia, and it's at the same convention center that me and Savannah went to the ladies' function a few months ago. So yeah, they drove there today, and I'm actually happy for them because this is the first time that they are going. They're excited. They left around 5 this morning. It actually started last night. They're coming home on Saturday. So yeah, when I was younger, it used to be Monday through Thursday, and then Friday you would come home. Or is it Monday through Friday, and Saturday we'd come home. I don't know, something like that, but it was for a full week. There's classes today, so that's the reason why they left a little bit earlier. I'm watching the time. I've only been talking for two minutes, okay. They left a little bit earlier. I'm just rambling, I know. But they left a little bit earlier. That way they can get there early and register and stuff like that and still make it to like the first class, which is just basically um, preaching. So they can pick what class they want to go to, whatever, for the morning. And then there's an evening service tonight. And then... Tomorrow's Friday, so more classes in the morning, and then the last um, service tomorrow night, which is always powerful and exciting, and most people go to that one. So, yeah, and then they will be coming home tomorrow. No, they will be coming home on Saturday morning. So, yeah, you guys, um, it's just me that's in the house right now. Tyreek actually stayed the night with friends, so... I'm all alone. There's no one here besides me. Literally. So it's pouring down raining. And I do mean pouring. And now it's thundering. Oh, no, I don't do thunder. When I was a little girl, when it would thunder, my mom said I would get up and run. Yeah, I don't get up and run, but I still don't like it. And I'm home alone. Good times okay even though it was raining and thundering earlier the sun's out now and I'm just going to open up the door to let some fresh air in if it gets too cold I will just close the door my girls call me they made it to Visalia and I'm so excited for them y'all I still have my front door open and it's not that cold right now because where I'm sitting, I'm just on break right now, but where I'm, where I'm sitting, I have a little floor heater. So that may be different when I get off work. I may have to close the door, but yeah. Um, I love the sound of the rain. And I hope the girls aren't getting rained on too much where they are. I mean, Visalia is maybe three hours away, but um, maybe there it'll be sunshine or maybe just showers but it's been pouring here on and off so yeah. Hey everyone, I hope y'all can see me. I know it's getting dark, but I lightened the settings on my camera a little bit, but I don't want to do too much because I'm driving. Anyway, you guys are probably wondering, what did she just show me? Well, that was my church in the one of the, I don't know, they call it not a banquet room, but multi-purpose room. I don't know. 
but tomorrow the ladies are having a tea party and the one you've seen the one that had a lot of stuff on it that's the one that I'm helping another um, lady in the church it's her table but I just went to help her so yeah that's what's going on tomorrow and y'all I've known about this three months ago right and it's supposed to be a fancy tea party you dress up and everything's supposed to be you know fancy and you know all that right and they're gonna be wearing hats and you don't have to wear hats it's optional but I waited until yesterday to go look for a hat y'all I could have ordered a hat months ago on Amazon I don't know I just wasn't thinking about it and of course I couldn't find any hats but the lady who I'm helping out the table with she did tell me a store where to go where she seen hats so I think what I'm going to do is tomorrow before I go there I'm just gonna go and grab a hat she said she's seen fancy ones and actually it is on my way home I don't know. No, I'm tired. I want to go home. I don't have to wear a hat. Like I said, it's optional, but it's my first time like at a tea party thing like this. And I guess the church does it every year for the ladies and they have prizes for the best decorated table and you get judged on the hats and there's other prizes. So I'm actually quite excited to go to this. It may seem like it's something that old people do. I don't know, but I'm an old person, y'all. I'm almost 50. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Um, but there's going to be young ladies there also. Micro ladies are going to be there and it's it's for anyone 14 and up. Um, no little, little kids. So, yeah, we were just setting up tonight because tomorrow it starts at 11, but I'm going to be there around 8 just to help out whoever needs help to do stuff. I'm pretty good at, you know, like making bows or decorating, stuff like that. So, I volunteered my services so I'm helping out so yeah I think tomorrow morning on the way to church I will go to the place where she told me to look for a hat she said she's seen nice big fancy ones and I did find some yesterday because I went to the mall Savannah and I and I did see some hats but I'm talking about the big wide rim church hats you know that your grandma wore to church and the ones that they wear like the derby hats you know derby hats yeah I think that's what they call them so anyway let's meet you guys I'm so tired y'all it's been a long day I'm in the line for raising canes y'all look how long this line is the store is over there and then there's two lanes that are here and yeah I'll probably be here an hour all right, so we are at my church and it's a huge property and we're going inside to help.
So we are back from the tea party. Hi, hello, it's Saturday. I know you guys didn't see me yet today, but. Can you get that? She dropped our remote. Anyway, I looked like that because she dropped it in between the couch and I had to reach, she dropped it on my side, of course, and I had to reach down to grab it. Y'all got chubby hands, so. Anyway, but the tea party went well. You guys seen all the lovely tables, but the one I was at that I helped at, it was the best. It was the best. And they judged the hats. I was one of the judges. And <laughs> bless <Sorry>. you. <laughs> Two people that I voted for, one most creative and one best hat overall. They both won. And so, yeah, next year I will take part of the hat, being a part of the hat contest. Not this year, apparently, because I didn't find a hat. So, yeah, anyway, we we're just sitting here about to relax and enjoy the rest of the day. Hello everyone, it is Friday. I'm on my way, I'm on my way home from work and I know this thing is really wonky right now, but I don't want to put it up there because the road is really bumpy and I'd rather have it here. Anyway, so did I say it's Friday and I'm on my way home? Yes, finally Friday. This is gonna bug me. We are dog sitting this week, this weekend. Yes, we're dog sitting, so when you see another dog, it is not ours, because this thing, I, I keep calling it an it, and I shouldn't, because that's someone's fur baby that she loves that dog, but, oh my gosh, so maybe like two months ago, we were at our church, and I was talking to one of the other ladies there, and we were just talking about dogs, and I had told her about how Boston passed away, and all that stuff like that, right, and so we were talking about ugly dogs, and... I said something to the fact of, do dogs even know they're ugly? And you know the ones that are little, they're really tiny, they're hideous looking dogs and they have their tongues out and they're shaking, whatever. So we were just laughing and joking and talking about that, okay? So then another one of the church members, and she's more of Cheyenne's age, she comes in and she has this dog in the carrier and Savannah, cause Savannah's an animal lover, y'all know that. She's like, oh, let me see the dog. So she pulled the dog out and this dog, minus the tongue sticking out, is exactly what we were talking about. She asked Savannah uh, maybe like three weeks ago if she didn't mind watching her dog while she takes her daughter to Disneyland. And Savannah said, yeah, but you gotta ask my mom. So she asked me and before I said yes, I had to find out more about this dog and find out, making sure their house broken and making sure that they're crate trained and not that every dog have to be crate trained, but when I leave my house, I don't want the animal, the animal, <laughs> I don't want the dog roaming, you know, so the dog is crate trained. So I agreed to it. I said yes. But Savannah's watching this dog, this little ugly dog. So Savannah, she sent me a picture of the dog today and said that she looks scared. Oh, the dog's a female and she looks scared. She's not doing anything. And I'm like, well, she probably thinks her family abandoned her and she's afraid and she doesn't know what's going on. So I'm like, just let her come to you and don't force her to do anything. Just let her be and you know, whatever. I don't even know what kind of dog it is. It's some tiny little, I call it a rat. That's what it looks like. And yeah, it's, it's not cute at all. And it's funny because when I first seen Boston, I was like, ugh, this dog is so ugly. But then something about those little sad eyes drew me to him. And he wasn't the cutest of thing, but he's mine. So I'm saying all that to say we're watching this ugly little dog, but I shouldn't call it an ugly little dog because that's someone's dog that they love that you know how we love Boston so it's funny I hate this angle I hate it absolutely hate it yeah anyway um and I will show you the little rat I call it a rat I don't even know the I don't even know the dog's name yeah I'll show you guys the dog when I get home and yeah and the thing is tonight Savannah and Cheyenne are going to like youth service so the dog is going to be with me yeah, I'm just gonna let her be. She brought everything that she needed. She brought her food and all this and that. But yeah, we'll see you guys. Um, 
Denver Dog City. And I know a few of you are wondering and have even asked me, do we plan on getting another dog? And I will. I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna get another dog. I know I said that after Leo passed away, cause Leo was my dog and it hurts. And it hurt when Boston died also, but he was Savannah's dog. So yes, I know we'll get another dog one day, but we'll know, we'll know, we'll know when the time is right. Um, I have a friend who anytime one of her dogs passes away within the next few weeks, they have another dog and nothing's wrong with that, you know? Right now I say no, but you never know what might happen. I may see one and fall in love and I don't know. So yeah, but I wanted to give you guys a backstory on this little dog that is at my house right now before I get home because yeah, it's going to be interesting. Okay, y'all. This is the little rat dog I was telling y'all about. Scary. It's so little. Oh, um, her name is Heart. <laughs> but I keep calling her an it. I'm scaring her. She keeps backing up. I don't want her in my couch. She's not in your couch. She's well, on, couch. on my couch. Boston wasn't allowed on the couch, so she's not either. Hey, tell everybody hi, Heart. She don't even want to look at me. I came in the door and she was backing away from me. She's so little. Pick her up, Savannah, so they could see how tiny her body actually is. Yeah. She probably weighs three pounds. Not even. Or not even. Look. <laughs> wait, wait, sorry. No, turn her to the side. <laughs> Look how little. Her little chicken feet. <laughs> She's so tiny. Oh my goodness. Kisses. No. Y'all look at her face. Okay, I'm not I'm not trying to be mean, but it's not the most cutest oh, thing. It's cute. But it's scared. We'll take good care Hi. of you though. We'll take good care of you. We will. Uh. Yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> so Savannah and Cheyenne went to youth service and she's here with me. She is not budging. I don't blame her. She doesn't know us and she doesn't know the house. And I don't want her in my couch, or on my couch, not in it. But she's clean, she smells good, and she's tiny. And as long as she's not doing anything, any kind of scratching or whatever, she can stay. Huh? Wait, what's your name? Heart? Huh, Heart? Huh, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I know this is mean, you guys, but I have you guys seen Color Purple when what's the name? Suge was in the bathtub and Celie came in, and what did she say? You show is ugly. I'm sorry. That's what I just thought about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, good girl. We're friends still. Okay, y'all. Okay, it's Saturday. It's the next day. Look at this dog. Apparently, she thinks this is her spot. We've been fighting. Not really, but yeah. You don't have a spot in this house, ma'am. Hello? Heart? Heart? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Y'all remember when I used to be off on Fridays? I miss that. I miss that a lot. Would I go back to the time where I was off on Fridays? Yes and no. Yes, because, duh, I'd be off on Fridays. And no, because at the time, I wasn't making as much as I am now. Not bragging, just saying. So, yeah, it is Friday and I'm working from home today, which I'm happy. Usually my work from home days are Mondays and Thursdays. And basically when our manager just says we can, I basically think we can work from home every day unless we need to go print something out. That's just my take on it, but of course our opinions doesn't matter. So yeah, what am I doing today? So today, my brakes are squeaking, you guys. My brakes are making noises, and right after work, I'm going to make a mad dash over to Elk Grove Nissan, and hopefully they can fit me in today. Now I know I can wake up early in the morning and do it, 
and that way they don't have to or they're not going to rush into it but that way i won't have to worry about you know the time or whatever but i don't want to do that i want to have my saturday to relax so and i'm pretty sure it's only the brake pads i haven't had this car that long so i'm sure it's not the rotors and i'm not a mechanic but i'm pretty sure it's just the front brake pads and i also need an oil change so i'm going to do that while i'm there so yeah and i know i didn't vlog any more of the little puppy she's gone home now and i think i told you her human went to disneyland so that's the reason why we watched her and she was so quiet and didn't do anything but she claimed the couch as her own mm, y'all know how i feel about animals and my couch that's just me if you guys put your animals in your couch nothing against you but that's just me I don't like them in my couch and I don't like them in my kitchen. That's just me. Because <laughs> y'all asked, right? Anyway, so after the third day, because we had her Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We had her four days. So by the time Sunday came around, she was up and following Savannah everywhere, wagging her tail. I guess she had gotten comfortable. You know how it is when an animal gets in a new place and she didn't understand so she probably thought you know her family had left her and who are these people taking care of me now i don't know anyway she was a good dog and we left her in a crate when we were at church and she pooped in a crate which is the reason why i do not let animals roam the house when i'm gone and that's just me that's just how i've always been every dog that we've had when we leave the house the dog has to be in a crate that's, yeah, because I don't want to come home to accidents and all that stuff. I know I do want to continue working on my living room. I stopped for a long time because I, am, I had family over. My mom was here and my aunt passed away. And then, I don't know, things were going on and I wasn't in the mindset for it. And now I am, so I need to finish painting, priming the walls so I can get it ready to paint it gonna be a slow process I told you guys I'm taking my time with this because I want to find the exact everything that I want because I don't ever want to do this again next time I think this is gonna be the last room I paint <laughs> and I just want to take my time find the right color and find the right furniture because I am gonna swap out my couches and find the right rug I'm just you know I have seen a few things that I was like, oh, okay, this would look okay, but I don't want to feel just okay about it. I want to be like, nope, that's what I'm getting. That's what I want. So that's the update with that. I know you guys didn't ask, but yeah. All right. Back to hey, everyone. So it's Friday evening and I did go to Nissan of Elk Grove got my oil change done had a coupon for that so that wasn't very much at all and then they inspected my brakes and I actually thought they were gonna be able to do it today but because I went so late in the day so I got there around four o'clock and by the time they finished the oil change and checked my brakes and everything like that they were done at six so they didn't have time to do it today but y'all I thought it was just my front brakes and I thought it was just going to be the brake pads. Well, it okay, I take that back. It is just the brake pads, but I thought it was only the front brakes. And I guess he said my front and my back brakes wore down at the same time. They're both front and back like dangerously low. He said usually it's either or that'll go out first and then, you know, you'll have to replace the other ones, but yeah. So what I thought was going to be around a 300-ish um, issue is now going to be around $700 to get my brakes done tomorrow morning. Remember how I said I was going to do it today because I didn't want to get up tomorrow morning because I just wanted to sleep in and relax. If I said that, I don't know. But yeah, not happy about that at all. And I could either cry about it, not literally cry, but I could either cry and pout and whine about it and be upset for no reason because it has to get done or I can just be thankful that I have the money to get it done but still ouch <sighs> my goodness y'all 
anyway not too happy about that but there's nothing i can do about it so like i said i mean just gotta look on the bright side at least i'm thankful i have the money to do it and yeah just sitting here it's just me right now so the kids they went to so every friday night we have youth night youth service or something like that for the youth and they call it youth but it's they're in their 20s like 18 to 29 or something like that that's what they call the youth at my church so anyway they are getting together tonight to play soccer they rented out an indoor soccer field so that's what they're all going to do right now I'm cooking dinner which is just like steak and vegetables and i'm gonna have um, rice with that and watch a little bit of tv and try not to sulk because there's nothing there's nothing I can do about it y'all but y'all know how it is I mean there's nothing I can do about it but yeah seven hundred dollars seven hundred dollars yeah but if it was Disney I'd be like take my money take my money you need more I don't I don't get it why why <sighs> y'all I need a man who know how to work on a car. I need a man who's a mechanic so he can work on my car. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. It is 6.15 a.m. And I'm on my way to Elk Grove Dodge. No, I'm not. I'm so I'm tired. I'm on my way to Elk Grove Nissan. And service department doesn't open until 7 but I've been there before on a Saturday and people start lining up pretty early so that's what I'm going to do it's so early y'all I should be asleep but it is what it is and I said I wasn't gonna complain yesterday but here I am complaining cuz number one had to get up out my bed super early. I didn't have to actually, but I'd rather get it over with because the longer I wait, then I actually probably could have called other places and see if other places would be a little bit cheaper, but I'd rather stick with Nissan for my car because one time when I took it someplace else, it was something simple and they caused a leak or something un underneath my car and Good thing that whatever it was was under warranty with Elk Grove Nissan and they ended up fixing it so yeah I do not like taking my car other places than where I got it I don't know if you guys heard that when I turned the corner my brakes started to squeal yeah it's funny because after they took the car apart to um, check it out yesterday when I was driving home it seemed like it made it worse every time I would step on my brakes I felt that everyone was looking at me and I'm like don't look at me don't look at me mind your business keep your head straight I'm just driving <laughs> and that's how I feel this morning thankfully there's not a lot of cars on the road but they are squealing so yeah this is awesome so I've made it here. I am the first one here. What time is it? It is um, 6.23. But trust me, this place is going to start filling up really soon. Oh, a car is pulling up behind me now. All right, you guys, it is 10.15. I am pulling out of Nissan of Elk Grove. My brakes are no longer squealing. So yeah, I'm set to go. Um, he did end up giving me a discount. So I mean, I guess I can't complain. So instead of being $700, it was $597, which is $600. So yeah, he gave me like a hundred and something dollars off because it would have been 700 and something with the tax but my brakes are no longer squealing so there you go 
what am I gonna do the rest of the day? I don't know. Cause now my money's gone. <laughs> my money's not gone, but it's gone. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, y'all. Yeah, fun times. Mm -hmm.